Hey guys, it's Gloopy and I'm back on the balance today. Shout out to Jack Lifecaster. He recognized me. Look at this of oh, this beautifulness. I'm rocking these stats. High health, um, pretty good damage, amazing resist, pretty good accuracy. It's the 40 pierces was good because I'm rocking the infall pet, so I can have 55 pierce. This is actually the strategy that originally got me to 1200 rank. Because if you don't know, I got to 1200 ish. Rank. Sorry, no, it got me to 1100 ish rank around 1050 to 1100 ish then i got to 1200 using a myth master and using this pet then 1300 with nova and then i started recording about there so this is like back to what i usually started with the balance and that looks just like a myth lizard so i'm gonna go ahead and stumble up. but see here's what's so good about it now i have 55 pierce so there's no need for me to even strike and i can literally i can spin my shads into shad hits or if I really wanted to, I could use uh, Shadow Trickster maybe to get the extra p crit, which I prefer to use it on like Shad hits. But I mean, I could just burn here. I have an open invalid burn because if I shield, I've seen the Clockwork Minion do Blood Bat first turn way too many times, and I crit. I don't have high enough crit to really bank on. I have like 33%, so it's literally a one in three percent chance I crit. I did get the wand hits for little minions. Um, but I do love this trap because I have 40 peers and I had to make as invalid pet, so that's 55 peers. And even with like really balanced and good stats, like I'm rocking with 60 peers, or sorry, 60 resist, I pierce through almost all of it. And with that, I pierce completely through a TZ tower shield and all the way through a regular tower shield and into their base resist. So it's just amazing peers. And I loved rocking peers balance, but then I kind of popped over to Mythmaster because it was so fun because as you see he hasn't stun block yet and then this pet gives me the seven pit medusa so i would just uh i would always medusa them and then I'd, I'd get like because you know shad was a randomized so i'd just get two shads and i would uh, medusa shad shad them and they couldn't do anything it was a really good strat and it also had make cast infall so it was it was it was it was pretty lit but um too many people stun block nowadays to really use it um, especially when you get to the high ranks, so, eh, Pierce Balance, I just love playing it, though. I did get the Aegis in case he wants to go for something like a Mystic. What is this? So I just pierce it. Oh, that's annoying. He didn't get a Shadow Pip, however. So I'm actually, I can discard that and I can Mana Burn, because I have more Legend Shields than I do of, like, the other ones. So I can try to Aegis those and stack those. See, look at that, 1700 and I conserved. I have pretty decent pip conserve. I think I have like uh, 50 pip conserve. And see, now I have two of the same Aegis legend shields. And what is this, a minion? It's a blade. He gets a shad, right? He does. So now I just simply set shield here. Now, what he could do, um, he could go and strike to put a little bit of pressure on, but if he strikes, I, it wouldn't be, he wouldn't strike now, I don't think. I think that'd be a little bit early to strike. But once he does strike, I could, um, have my legend shield up, and then I could brace. Then I would have my 60 resist, a brace, and a legend shield, and you're just not gonna be able to get that off. Um, I could do that. He may king art me to go ahead and get rid of my shield. Like, a King Art into a Yaga would be a very good play for him. Uh, and the King Art is going to do enough to where I think I will shift it. Oof. I could shift into a Worm. But I would need to pull a Worm. Is this a King Art? It is a King Art. Can you crit this, please? Ah. I don't really know if it's worth shifting, though, to be honest. Because if I send a, um... If I send a sandworm here, he has to go in the defense and I can apply pressure to him. But if I if I go in the defense, he can apply pressure to me. Gaze. I mean, let's see how much that's doing. I mean I guess. I get a little bit of damage on him. 
it was not the best move. I, I admit that. But, I mean, now I can open worm him. And with the overtime on him, he knows a, um... He knows an open charmer doesn't come anywhere near killing me. So, what does he do here? Does he just send the open charmer? He shifts it back? <laughs> cool, I guess. I wouldn't have done that. Can I pull my sandworms? So I'm gonna do this now. Um, the overtime is done. I've got my set shield up. It's Aegis, so he can't do anything to it, really. And now I can sandworm him, and he's dead to the follow-up. Especially with my infowl. Now I've got 55 pierce. That's beautiful. Oh, also, do not you dare be fooled by the robe. It's just a stitch, because it was, like, the closest thing that I had to matching the pumpkin. Now I could just send a gaze of fate here, to be honest. I could gaze, stun, worm. Can I pull a sandworm? Because what is it? Uh, I have like 2% universal accuracy. Plus the infowl, that's 15%. So I have 17% universal accuracy. And then the stuns have 80%. So I have a 97% chance to, to power that stun. And he doesn't even have a stun block on him. So I could just gaze, stun, worm. And I get the bubble from the gaze. As long as it doesn't hit it. Okay. Never mind. That was a horrific move then. But at least I got bubble control. And he can't do a whole lot. I mean, yeah, he can strike. But. I can really prevent a strike right now. Like, if there's one thing I can do is prevent a strike. And actually, I th a crit worm definitely kills with the bubble, and my pierce, and my damage. A crit worm kills. So, if, he's gonna strike here, right? He doesn't strike. Is the bubble change? It's a bubble change. That was a good move. Um, strike would have been a good offensive move. Ooh. Now I can just aura pop. That should be it. I can aura pop stun worm. Easy. Easy claps. Crit this. Okay, I don't need to. I don't have... This isn't really a critting strategy. But yeah, look at that. That does so much damage. I really, I've had that shad meter for like two turns. Does he strike here? No. They can please tell me I kept my wand hit, right? I did keep my wand hit. So I'm gonna do that, that, and I'm gonna do that. Now, mana burn is not going to be that bad of a play here. If I get the pips and he doesn't, like, strike and stuff. Okay, so now I have... I can apply the pressure here. Now I'm pulling all my worms. What is this? No, you're dead. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Absolutely clapped. Now I could worm or I could supernova him to death. It's really whatever I want to do. I don't think a lore kills. I can strike right here for the disrespect. I think I can fizzle that. Let's send it. I think I have like a 4% or 3% chance to fizzle it with the infowl up. No crit, no problem. Beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. I hope that you enjoy that. If you want the content to continue, Here's you a video, and here's you a playlist to watch more goofy content, because you know you don't want to end the content there. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button, but only like it if you really did like it. If you didn't learn something today, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!